Hi, I'm Sarah Platt, your UCSA president. We've reached the last few days of lectures and the end of the academic year. And often when you come to the end of something, I, can, I believe it can be a good time for reflection. I'd particularly like to reflect on the last four weeks, the many hours of meetings, student forums and discussions regarding equity and diversity. And while ENSOC's Round D500 event may have been the catalyst for that, what we've seen is a much bigger conversation about student culture here at UC. As the president of a 12-person executive that endeavours to represent the viewpoints and opinions of each and every one of you, over 14,000 students, it is safe to say that my job has brought with it many steep learning curves, and I am the first to admit that I may not have always got things right. Carrying the weight of the student voice brings with it a lot of pressure and responsibility, and the last few weeks, more than ever, have shown our 14,000 students have opinions and views that range from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other, and representing all of those opinions has proven to be no mean feat. Having said that, that is what I signed up for, what the executive signed up for when we asked you to elect us as your student voice, and we take that responsibility incredibly seriously. Putting that aside for a moment, I would like to reiterate that the UCSA's role is to help students, all students, succeed and belong at UC. Upon reflection, I think we could have done better. We could have and should have sought the wider student voice earlier through open forums and online submissions. We could have and should have more clearly communicated the process we were going through. More importantly, I am sorry that we didn't do better. To those students who were offended, that feel that they have not been heard, that feel that they have not been supported or feel that they do not belong, I am truly sorry. Looking to 2015 and beyond, we are presented with the opportunity to improve, to develop, to be a more inclusive students association than we have ever been before. And there are a few ways that I would like to highlight how we would like to do that. We will establish a UCSA Student Equity and Diversity Advisory Committee that will be chaired by a UCSA exec member that also sits on the university's Central Equity and Diversity Advisory Committee. This will seek to give students on campus another direct line to the executive and hopefully allow the UCSA to better represent all students. We will continue to educate all 130 of our affiliated clubs, including educating them around cultural competency, the use of social media, conflict resolution, and the improvement of the social consciousness of their activities and events. We will review our club affiliation policy and the UCSA constitution to ensure that it is in line with best practice around diversity and equity and inclusion. And we will continue to play a key role in the organisation of Diversity Week and other events that raise awareness and understanding. I hope that we can all agree that we want our campus to be one of inclusion, understanding and respect, where you feel safe and that no matter what your opinion might be, you have the right to have and express that opinion. A campus where we give everyone every right that we claim for ourselves. We want a campus where we can all express ourselves while remembering that with freedom of choice, with freedom of expression, comes the responsibility of self-control and empathy towards others. When I decided to stand for the position of president, I was warned by many people that it's a thankless job. Whichever way you jump, there will be people who won't be happy. Now more than ever do I appreciate that sentiment. However, I will say this, I love my job. Every day I come to work and do my very best to make a positive difference to the student experience, your student experience. I feel privileged to be your student president and I always have and always will strive to do right by each and every, every one of you, no matter how hard or impossible that task may seem to be. While I cannot promise that our executive or any future executives will make decisions that exactly align with your opinion, I can promise you that you will have the opportunity to be heard. Your opinions will be represented and considered and we will do everything we can to find the balance of opinions to make what we truly believe to be the best decision possible. Thank you for taking the time to listen and good luck with your exams.